Ladies and gentlemen, prior to the introduction of the starting lineup, both teams are lining up to meet at center court for the traditional handshake of sportsmanship. The gentlemen will now meet at center court and shake hands, and then we will introduce the participants in the second half of tonight's King Athletic Conference semi-final doubleheader sponsored in part by Modelo's Pepsi Cola Applebee's and Con Edison. Ladies and gentlemen, for the Queensboro Community College Tigers, their head coach is Larry Gansler, assistant coach Kamal Steele, Damian Broadwater, and Marvin Patterson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the starting lineup for the Queensboro Community College Tigers. At the guard position, standing six feet, three inches tall, from Queens, number 22, Stefan Bidard. At the forward position, standing six feet, four inches tall, from the Bronx, New York, number 25, Devin Miner. Standing six feet three from Long Island, New York, number 23. Here for the month, At the guard position, standing five feet 11 inches from Long Island, number one, Alan Smith. And at the guard position, standing five foot six from Long Island, the Queensboro Community College Tigers. And their opponents, ladies and gentlemen, the Hostos Community College Caymans. The head coach is Dr. Julie King. Assistant coaches are Skip French, Ever Kelly, and Irv Abbott. This is QCC student David Russell. The Tigers are about to host the Caymans in this CUNY semifinal. The winner will go to the CUNY championship game in two nights. A little note before the game begins, Queensboro is the road team. Hostos was second in CUNY, Queensboro third. It goes on the rankings, not where the game is played. So although we are in Queensboro's home, Queensboro is the road team wearing their road blue jerseys. Hostos in the white. The question is, can Queensboro play for all 40 minutes? They met on December 8th. The game was tied for the first 10 minutes. Hostos won by 34. They met 11 days ago. The game was tied at 42 in the second half. Hostos won by 16. In spite of that, Queensboro is pretty confident coming into this game. And their starting five is Alan Smith, Taquan Washington, Stefan Medard, Fiofailoa, Ojugbali, and Davin Minor. Queensboro comes away with the opening tip. Alan Smith, Tigers lead 2-0. QCC jumps out to the early lead. And Queensboro with the full court press early. Morrison with it, starting five for Hostos. Kayla Youssef, Maverick Hodge, Brandon Stoles, Jeremiah Brown, and Brian Morrison. Stoles gets it to Youssef. Good ball movement, Hodge has it guarded by Washington, down to six on the shot clock. 
and Maverick Hodge puts it in. The game is tied at two. Washington with it. Guarded by Hodge. The winner of this game will face Bronx Community College on Friday night. Medard. Stephon Medard makes it 4-2 Queensboro. Medard, the leading scorer for Queensboro this season. Miner did everything he could to save it, and the refs talked to each other. Hostos ball. Hodge with it. Will Queensboro protect the home court, or will Hostos make it an All Bronx final? Youssef. Brandon Stoles with it. Hodge. Jeremiah Brown, guarded by Ojugbele. Brown, tough jumper, is good. Jeremiah Brown. And Dr. Jody King calls timeout for Hostos. 93 seconds into the game, it's 4 4. Hostos. Each team has scored on its two possessions. Players to look out for, look for Hostos, he's not on the court right now. But Charles Jackson, number 35 off the bench, is averaging nearly 23 points per game. And this is the tournament for Queensboro. They're not gonna be in the Region 15 tournament this year. Gonna lay it all on the line in the CUNYs. Alan Smith running the point. Medard, good defense by Yusuf, and a steal. Stoles loses it though. Stefan Medard, Medard hits again. They're gonna need him to step it up today. It's 6-4 Queensboro. Yusef. Brian Morrison to Maverick Hodge. Washington is on him. Jeremiah Brown. Turnover. Almost. And the ball will go to the Tigers. It was last touched by Brandon Stoles. Smith calls out the play. Medard with it. Good defense. Washington with it now. Washington, Hodge got a hand on it. Nice defensive play, and Alan Smith with the steal. Smith puts it in. Queensboro leads 8-4. Morrison with it. Miner is on him. Maverick Hodge has it for the Caymans. Hodge, and a steal by Smith. Alan Smith, the man possessed early on. And a charge is called on Smith. That's his first, team's first. Jeremiah Brown will inbound. Pressuring the inbound is Queensboro. Maverick Hodge has it. Nice pass to Youssef. And Caleb Youssef cuts the lead in half. It's 8-6, Queensboro. Smith. Smith. Medard. 
Medard couldn't hit that time, rebounded by Youssef. Youssef pushing it, Hostos Kintyre take the lead and a steal. Smith gets it up ahead to Washington. Washington to Medard. Another jumper is good. Stefan Medard with six points early on. Queensboro leads 10-6, four minutes in. And Youssef stepped on the line, ball back to QCC. Medard inbounding. Gets it to Ojugbali. And they return the favor with the turnover of their own. Brown will inbound again. Hodge guarded by Smith. Nice backdoor cut, and Brown puts it in. Jeremiah Brown now has four points. It's 10-8 Queensboro. Washington guarded by Hodge. Washington almost put that one in. Stoles pushing it for Hostos as Youssef. Good transition defense. Medard to Smith. Ojugbali. Ojugbali is called for traveling. Hodge. Guarded by Washington up the court. Stoles. And traveling is called on Stoles. He was guarded well by Medard. Number 35, Charles Jackson makes his first appearance for Hostos. He replaces number five, Ali Yusef. Washington. A little over five minutes into the game. Medard. No basket, it was before the shot. Foul is charged to number 21 of Hostos, Brandon Stoltz. This first. Brandon Stoltz called for the foul. Washington to Smith. Ojugbali guarded by Charles Jackson. Maverick Hodge comes away with it, gets it up to Jeremiah Brown. And Brown puts it in. Jeremiah Brown. The game is tied at 10, five and a half minutes in. Smith. Washington guarded by Hodge. Davin Miner. And Charles Jackson is called for the foul. Miner was on the way up. Miner misses the first. One shot. <laughs> Miner missed that one. Game still tied at 10. Hodge. Medard got a hand on it. Up ahead to Alan Smith who saved it in. Medard for three. Couldn't put that one in. It's rebounded by Brian Morrison. Stoles gets it to Jeremiah Brown. Brown guarded by Alan Smith. Morrison, Stoles is asking for it down low. Brown gets it to Hodge. Down to 15 on the shot clock. Brown, Charles Jackson, the leading scorer on the season for Hostos. Down to five on the shot clock, Stoles makes his move. Great defensive possession. Alan Smith. 
Washington, they slow it down. Washington guarded by Hodge. Defense chance starts up from the Hostos bench. Smith. Lost it, but Medard came up with it. Medard tried to get it to Miner. Brian Morrison has it, hands it off to Maverick Hodge. Hodge up to Jeremiah Brown. The pull-up three is good. Jeremiah Brown with nine early points. Hostos now leads 13-10. Brown averaging a little over 11 points per game. Has nine in the first seven minutes and 30 seconds. Tigers can cut the lead to one or tie it. Ojugbele may have gotten away with the push off but then lost it. Maverick Hodge couldn't finish. Charles Jackson finishes. It's now 15-10 Hostos. I was about to say, let's see how long it is before Larry Dantzler takes a timeout. 12 minutes, 13 seconds to go in the first half. Hostos leads 15-10. In a game of such significance, it's going to matter. One of the problems they've had through the year, Queensboro, who's going to be the one to step up and put the team on his back? Will be Stefan Medard, the leading scorer. Will be Taquan Washington, the point guard and emotional leader of the team. Washington, see what the Tigers come up with out of the timeout. Medard, back to Smith. Medard with it, mid-range jumper, rebounded by Hodge. Washington was actually in good position to get the rebound, but Hodge is just taller. Stoles with it. Nice pass to Charles Jackson, and Jackson is fouled. He'll go to the line for two shots. Foul is charged to number 25, Gavin Miner. That's his first team's second. Jackson at the line. Jackson hits the free throw on December 8th. Jackson had a dunk against Queensboro. It was so amazing, the Hostos crowd actually gave him a five minute standing ovation. Jackson hits both, it's now 17-10, Caymans. Washington calls out the play. Vincent George is with it. Medard. Tyler Jenkins down low. Jenkins puts it in. It's 17-12 as Jenkins has his first points of the game. Hodge guarded by the shorter Washington. Jackson. Lost it, Vincent George is with it. Gets it up ahead to Alan Smith, who got it to Washington. Washington to Medard. Charles Jackson, watch this one. Jackson now has six points, it's 19-12. Queensboro down seven. Sonny Kadish is getting ready to go into the game for Hostos. Washington. Fadeaway jumper, rims out. Rebounded by Jackson. Brandon Stoles. Henderson Bell came up with it. Jeremiah Brown controlling it now. Stoles almost lost it. Stoles guarded by Smith. Charles Jackson, nice pass to Bell. 
Henderson Bell finishes. It's now 21-12. Smith, Queensboro trying to cut into this nine point Hostos lead. Jenkins, Jenkins rebounded his own miss and put it in, it's now 21-14. Maverick Hodge. Brown gets it to Hodge. Charles Jackson counted and the foul. Charles Jackson will go to the line to finish off a conventional three point play. Larry Dantzler up off the bench saying he's the only one who's scoring for Hostos. Team's third. Sonny Adisha checks in for Hostos. Free throw would give Hostos a double digit lead. Jackson, one shot. Jackson hits, he now has nine points. Hostos now has a double digit lead, 24-14. Washington with it, guarded by Hodge. Smith, Vincent Georges, Medard, Medard is called for traveling. Also, a few notes, Sonny Kadish is in the game number 24 for Hostos. He played his high school ball at Forest Hills for Ben Chobapond, known around Queensboro as Benny Buckets. Also, Sonny Kadish is related to NBA legend Dikembe Mutombo. Mutombo an all-star so many times. Taquan Washington with it for the Tigers. Medard was, had his hands up. Smith gets it to Medard. Medard, guarded by Stoles, gets it to Jenkins. Jenkins. Jenkins just worked his way around Kadisha. It's now 24-16. Jeremiah Brown to Hodge, swings it to Stoles. Brown to Hodge. Hodge, floater, goes in. Maverick Hodge makes it 26-16. The lead is back up to 10. With 7.50 remaining in the first. Medard. Pass was tipped and stolen. Hodge gets it up to Brown. Charles Jackson. Stoles for three. Rebounded by Medard. Washington. Hodge got a hand on it and it's stolen. Couldn't tiptoe down the sidelines though. Stepped out of bounds, ball back to QCC. Smith will inbound. Washington. Good help defense. Medard guarded by Youssef. Medard forces one up. Missed badly. Hodge up ahead to Youssef. Kadisha bobbled it. Ball will stay with Hostos. Queensboro can't let this get away too early. David Miner going into the game for the Tigers. Tyler Jenkins will go to the bench. Brown thought about a three. Hodge gets it to Youssef. 
Down to 12 on the shot clock. Hodge. Brown guarded by Washington. Jackson puts up a three. Woefully short. Miner gets it to Washington. Smith with it now. Washington with it. Back to Allen Smith. And a foul is called. It will be on Jeremiah Brown, his first. That's his first. Team's third. Brian Morrison is in for Hostos. Sonny Kadisha goes out. Medard inbounding. Washington. Alan Smith with it. 6.05 to go. Smith was waving Washington around. Gets it to him now. 21 on the shot clock. Smith comes around for it. Foul is on Caleb Yusuf of Hostos, his first. Medard gets it to Smith. Smith. Kick ball. Kick basketball. Might be trying to force it to Medard a little too much. Tyler Jenkins getting ready to go in for the Tigers. May have tried to sub him in too late. Medard underneath Alan Smith who puts it in. That worked out for the Tigers because Smith missed a jumper off the inbound but the play was blown dead. Then Smith hits from underneath. 2-3 zone, Washington and Smith. Leading it. Hodge gets it to Youssef. Back to Hodge. To Brown. Brown from downtown. It's good. Three. Jeremiah Brown has a dozen points and it's now 29-18. Medard. Alan Smith. Taquan Washington to Vincent Georges from downtown. And Georges answers back. It's now 29-21, Hostos. Brown. Brian Morrison. Tipped. Washington with it. Medard. Safan Medard couldn't finish, but Miner is there to clean up the mess. Devin Miner has his first points. Hostos has a 29-23 lead with 4.31 to go. And Dr. Jody King calls a full timeout. 431 remaining in the first half, a full timeout. Hostos. The two critical problems with the losses earlier this year, on December 8th when they met, Taquan Washington and Stefan Medard combined to shoot six for 33. Then they met less than two weeks ago. The turning point of the game and everybody said so. Hostos was up 45-44 and they went down and missed a shot. There was a rebound, but then immediately a turnover and an alley-oop that the Caymans converted. It was only a three-point game with 12 minutes to go, but it was over. The Tigers were mentally shot. They are feeling good coming into this game. They trail by six, 431 to go before halftime. Tyler Jenkins has six points off the bench. Stefan Medard has six. Alan Smith has six. Then for Hostos, Jeremiah Brown has a dozen points. Charles Jackson has nine. See 
what Hostos comes out with after the timeout. See what defense Larry Dantzler goes with after the timeout. Jeremiah Brown guarded by Stefan Medard. It's his own defense. Hodge. Alan Smith with it for the Tigers. Good interior defense. Medard with it. Alan Smith. Washington directing the offense. Hodge is called for the foul. First foul on Maverick Hodge. Number 13, Gary Anderson checks in for the Cavens. He replaces Maverick Hodge. Madar looking to get it in, gets it into Davin Miner. Almost stolen from behind. Miner had a good look at it, but couldn't put it in. Gary Anderson with it, gets it to Jeremiah Brown, and Brown from downtown again. Jeremiah Brown now has 15 points. Jeremiah Brown and Charles Jackson have combined for 24 points as Washington misses. Brown and Jackson have 24, Queensboro has 23. Hostos can extend the lead to double digits. And who else? It's Charles Jackson. Charles and Larry Dantzler calls timeout. All of a sudden, it's 34-23 with 3.11 to go. All you have to do is stay around in these tournaments. The woman for Queensboro learned that yesterday. BMCC came back from a 17-point second-half deficit. Now in the first game of the men's doubleheader, Bronx ended up beating Kingsboro by 30. Problem is for Kingsboro, the game was virtually over at halftime. But you're the underdog, you have to hope to stick around. It's very rare that an underdog is going to walk on the court and win by 30 points. Alan Smith being told to push it by Larry Dantzler. Smith gets it to Tyler Jenkins down low, and Jenkins, no basket. Jenkins walked. No basket. Traveling violation. Gary Anderson walks it up. Brown, Brandon Stoles thought about a three. Gets it to Gary Anderson who's guarded by Washington. Stoles came around for it. Back to Anderson. Brown for three again and it's good. Jeremiah Brown with another three pointer. Minor. Miner forced one up. Hostos is pushing it now. Nice pass, and Brandon Stoles finishes. Stoles has his first points of the game. It's now 39-23. He'll stay with the Tigers, 24 on the shot clock. If you're Queensboro, you're gonna be losing at halftime. You hope to cut it to 10 or 12. Hostos hoping to extend it to 20. Approaching two minutes to play in the first half. Smith, rebounded by Jackson. Up ahead to Brandon Stoles. Back out to Brown. Charles Jackson, crosses over Miner. And the long rebound goes to Miner. Crowd got into that one. Miner hits at the other end. It's 39-25. Brandon Stoles. 
Gets a friendly roll. It's now 41-25. This match is the biggest lead, 16 points. 75 seconds to play in the first half. Jenkins, Charles Jackson will be called for the foul with 68 seconds to go in the first. Dixon Georges returns for the Tigers, replacing Allen Smith. Minor with it. Washington. Under one minute to play in the first half. Georges launches a three and it's good. Vincent Georges with his second three point field goal of the half. He now has six points. Ostos has a 13 point lead, 41-28. Brown with a tough jumper. Brown has 20 points in this first half. Has Queensboro figured out yet that he's scoring? because nobody's doubling him. Washington. Washington rebounded by Brown. Stoles. Stoles finishes, it's now 45-28. Down to 15 seconds in the first half. Queensboro will probably hold for the final shot. Instead, Medard launches a three. Brown with the rebound. Gary Anderson going to have to put it up. And Anderson is fouled with one and eight, ten seconds remaining in the first half. Foul is charged to number two of Queensboro. It's in Georgia's that's his first. Team's fourth. Anderson at the line to shoot two. Anderson looking for his first points. Anderson misses the first. Alex Smith checks in along with Brian Silvera. Anderson looking to split the free throws. And does so. It's 46-28. Ugly ending to the first half for the Tigers. Hostos is 20 minutes away from making it an All Bronx final. Hostos leads 46 28. Second half about to begin. Hostos is leading 46 28. Highlight of the first half, the story of the first half. What can Brown do for you? Jeremiah Brown, four for four from downtown. Hodge, guarded by Washington. And a turnover. Allen Smith with it. Smith, Miner, down to 20 on the shot clock. Vincent Georges back out to Washington. Queensboro can keep attempting jump shots. Foul is called on Caleb Youssef. That's his second, team's first in the second half. Also, Maverick Hodge for Hostos had a quiet first half, but five rebounds and four assists. Very quiet, five and four. As Medard misses, Miner out to Smith, and Alan Smith hits. Alan Smith, Alan Smith with eight points, it's 46-30. For Hostos, Jeremiah Brown 
and Charles Jackson have more points between the two of them than the whole Queensboro team. And another steal. Alan Smith is pushing it. Medard. Washington. Stephon Medard had six points in the first half. Medard. Medard shot is sent away by Morrison. Jeremiah Brown. Youssef, rebounded by Medard. Up to Alan Smith. Smith, and a turnover. And Hodge lays it in. Maverick Hodge. Henry Birch is in, Alan Smith is out. No timeout, it was an injury, I believe. A little over two minutes into the half, Henry Birch seeing his first action of the game. Taquan Washington and Stefan Medard played all 20 minutes in the first half for Queensboro. Birch. Birch for three. Rebounded by Youssef. Youssef, nice pass. Dealt, and a foul is called. Alan Smith is getting ready to go back in for the Tigers. Foul was on Vincent Georges. Brown hits the first, he now has 21 points. Brown was eight for eight in the first half, including four for four from three. Brown splits the free throws, but Stoles comes down with it. And Stoles is fouled. Stoles hits the first free throw. It's now a 20 point game, 50 30, as the foul was on Medard. Tyler Jenkins returns for the Tigers. Tyler Jenkins in for QCC to provide some rebounding and low post scoring. Brian Morrison out for Hosto. Sonny Kadisha is in. Stoles hits both, it's now 51-30. Alan Smith. Smith decides to take the jumper. Jeremiah Brown comes down with it. Brown gets it to Stoles, who thought about a three. See, Postos has some, that's got to be a charge, and it is. Well, not a charge, but an offensive foul. Really extended the arm. Smith handling the point guard duties. Gets it to Jenkins. And Jenkins puts it in. That's what he's in for. It's 51-32. Stoles. Kadisha. 
Kadisha fouled by Jenkins. Tigers foul, charge number 33, Tyler Jenkins, his second, team's second. Sonny Kadisha at the line, two shots. Kadisha banks in the free throw for his first point of the game. Kadisha splits the free throws. Miner has it for QCC. And a turnover. Brown. Brown gets it to Stoles. No basket. Traveling is called. Stoles called for the travel. He can't believe it. Josh Jackson returns for the Cavens. Brian Raheem checks in for the Tigers. Washington. Smith will bring it up. Scores 52-32. Queensboro going to have to rally. That's not a good way to start. Maverick Hodge lays it in. Maverick Hodge. It's now 54-32. 15-35 to go. Not sure if the offense or defense is a bigger problem right now. Madara doubled in the corner. Gets it to Washington. 15 on the shot clock. Smith is called for a charge. No basket. No basket. Foul is charged to number one, Alan Smith. Queensboro will go into a full court press with 15-15 to go. Hodge. Hodge puts it in again. That's the third Cayman in double digits and now it's 56-32 with under 15 minutes to go. Medard, Washington, Washington misses, rebounded by Brown, Jenkins with it, Medard shot is sent away by Sonny Kadisha, Sonny Kadisha with the block from behind, Tiger ball, 14.36 to go, Washington, Gets it to Ryan Rahim. Rebounded by Brown. And Brown is fouled. Brown had four rebounds in the first half. Has three or four in this half. Brandon Stoles with it. Stoles blows past Medard. Sonny Kadisha puts it in. Kadisha with his first field goal. It's now 58 32. This Maverick Hodge might be injured. Number 10 for Hostos. Kamal Green enters the game for the Tigers. Ojugbali will inbound. Vincent George is for three. That's way off. Tiger ball. 
Also, the shot was partially blocked. Tigers will have to make up 26 points in a little over 14 minutes. Henry Birch returns for Queensboro. Ojug believe will inbound. Tipped. Kamal Green was looking for his first points, couldn't hit. Kadisha gets it to Stoles. See an alley oop. Great defensive play by Henry Birch. Now be a jump ball. When Hostos is running in the fast break, look for the alley oop, and that's what Henry Birch did. Stop Charles Jackson from putting the two points in, and another uh, clip for his highlight reel. Henry Birch now running the point. Taquan Washington, Stefan Medard, and Alan Smith, they're all out. Kadisha. Sonny Kadisha with the dunk. These came in, sometimes it's like an and one tournament or a slam dunk contest. 60-32. As Ryan Raheem can't finish down low. Raheem puts it in. Ryan Raheem has his first points of the game at 60-34. And a steal. Ojugbuli. No basket, wave it off. With exactly 13 minutes to go. Foul charge from 22, Jeremiah Brown, that's his third, his fourth. At the free throw line, he's number 23, he pushed it back, two shots. Ojugbuli makes the first free throw, that's his first point of the game. It's now 60-35. It's now 60-36 as Ojugbuli hits both. Anthony Saldariaga is in, number 10 for the Tigers. Gary Anderson with it. Anderson dribbling, and he'll bring it up. Charles Jackson, Ryan Raheem got a hand on it, no backcourt violation. Youssef guarded by Saldariaga. Jackson. Down to three on the shot clock. Stoles has to put it up. Youssef almost tipped it in. Kamal Green with it for QCC. Vincent Georges. Ryan Raheem goes on the floor for it. Gets it to Kamal Green. Bird slows it down. 12.05 to go. Saldariaga, Hostos is 12 minutes away from an all Bronx CUNY championship game. Georges is fouled and will go to the line for two. Foul George just hits the first. That's his first point not to be a three-point field goal. Now has seven in the game, 60-37. Sixty thirty-eight as Georges hits both. Youssef. Saldariaga is right up on him. Now there's a bit of a mismatch as Saldariaga got switched on to Stoles. Nice backdoor pass. Charles Jackson. 
Jackson now has 13 points. Sixty-two thirty-eight, Hostos ball. Eleven twenty-four to go. See if the Caymans run some time off the clock. Stoles. Yusef chases it down, 15 on the shot clock. Counted and the foul, Sonny Kadisha. Kadisha at the line to finish the conventional three point play. Ostos is winning 64 38 with 10.57 remaining. Kadisha misses the free throw. It'll be Tiger Ball. Inbounding. Henry Birch brings it up. Birch. Nice steal by Gary Anderson. Anderson lays it in. Charles Jackson put his hand up. He wanted an alley-oop. It's 66-38. And this is where it gets fun for Hostos. You're up by 28 with 10.23 to go. Watch what they do on offense. Watch if they don't have a few alley-oops before this is over. Brandon Stoles now has 10 points. Four different Caymans are in double digits. With 10.07 to go, Hostos leads 68-38. Bit of a massacre. See if the score gets out of hand. You see in these kind of blowouts that there's a bit of lackadaisical play in the last 10 minutes. You might see Hostos convert a few steals into alley oops. Ten minutes. All but a formality as Hostos will be going to the CUNY Championship game. Queensboro season will have to be made on the 23rd when they face Sullivan, who's undefeated, Region 15. Ladies and gentlemen, with three and a half minutes to go in the third quarter, the New York Knicks lead Sacramento. 54 to 50. As the Queensboro crowd at least likes the score of the Knicks game, Knicks lead by 24. <laughs> Medard, Washington, and Smith are back in. Smith with it now. Under 10 minutes to play. Also wonder if Dr. Jody King will rest his players. Medard counted and the foul. The basket to number 22, Stephon Medard. Wonder with them playing in two nights against Bronx. Foul is charged number five. Do so. That's his third. How long guys like Stoles and Jackson will be in? That was the third foul on Youssef as Medard finishes the three-point play. Three play. Tigers don't have one scorer in double digits. Caymans have four. Anderson, hounded by Washington. Double dribble. 
Tiger ball at 9.40 to go. Washington. Medard. Rebounded by Georges. Georges puts it in, his first two point field goal. Vincent Georges now with 10 points. It's 68 43, Hostos. Full court pressure. And Stoles puts it in. Stoles with a dozen points at 70 43. And in blowouts in the final 10 minutes, you usually see it become a track meet. Each team just going up and down the court, putting up threes, throwing up alley oops. Washington, as Stoles hit the ground. Smith out to Washington. Allen Smith, down to six on the shot clock. Five, four, great defense. No basket, didn't get it up. Shot clock violation. I don't think Smith really noticed until there were seven seconds to go on the shot clock. Full court pressure. Ralick Smith is in. I'm sure Hostos would like they will like the old days as Miner gets a hand on that shot. Tiger ball with 8.15 to go. The old days when there was no shot clock. You could go into a stall. You could pass for seven minutes in a row. Not against the rules. Washington. Georges to Washington as Alan Smith takes a seat on the bench. Under eight minutes to play. Miner misses. Came in ball. Hodge is pushing it. Maverick Hodge misses. Tigers come up with it. Anthony Saldariaga. Minor off glass. It's 70 45. Under seven and a half to play. Hodge. And Washington is called for a foul. Ref stares at him. Washington that close to getting a technical as he slammed the ball. He didn't slam it high enough though. He caught it on the short hop. If he didn't, it would have been a technical. Gary Anderson in for the Caymans. Hodge is at the line. Misses the front end of a one and one. George is with the rebound. Saldariaga. Blocking foul is called. Foul charge number 23, Levin Smith, is first. Foul is on Ralik Smith. Anthony Saldariaga at the line. Two shots. Saul Riaga looking for his first point. Still looking. Jeremiah Brown returns for the hostos. Saul Riaga has his first point at 70-46, hostos. 
Anderson brings it up. Saldariaga got a hand on it. Brown will inbound. Anderson. Saldariaga got a hand on it again. Hostos will have it with 22 on the shot clock. Anderson. Foul is on Washington. His second personal. Anderson at the line. Alan Smith returns for the Tigers. Anderson on the line. Anderson misses the front end of a one and one. Under seven minutes to play. Alan Smith. Smith is in, Washington is out. Medard, George has had to go through his hands, came in ball. Anderson. Hodge to Anderson. Hodge guarded by Smith. Medard got a hand on it. Jackson to Brown. Brown, Morrison down low. Nice interior defense ball will stay with the Caymans with 13 on the shot clock. Tyler Jenkins in the game for the Tigers. Vincent Georges goes to the bench. Hodge thought about a three, worked his way for a better shot. It rims out, rebounded by Morrison. Morrison is fouled. Foul is on Medard. Second foul on Medard with 6.17 to go. Two shot foul as Brian Morrison looks for his first points. Morrison misses. Brian Morrison has one shot. Morrison misses both, rebounded by Jenkins. Up ahead to Miner. <laughs> Blocking foul. It's now 70 <laughs> Miner's free throw rims out. Charles Jackson is pushing it. Overthrows Hodge. Only four seconds came off the shot clock. 6.07 to go. Clock doesn't start until somebody touches it. Saldariaga, guarded by Hodge. Foul is called on Hodge. Foul charge on the team, now with Hodge. That's his third. Hostos is over the foul limit. Saldariaga short on the first three throw. Yeah. 
Saldriaga splits the free throws at 70-49. Under six minutes to play. Hodge guarded by Smith. Hodge is called for traveling. Five forty-seven to go. Saldariaga is called for traveling. Ball back to the Caymans. Hodge, it'll take a miracle for Queensborough to come back now. Caymans can basically sit on the lead as a foul is called. Charles Jackson, his 13 points, he'll go to the free throw line, putting on a nice show for scouts and four-year colleges in attendance. It was his second foul on Davin Minor as Jackson misses the first free throw. Jackson splits the free throws at 71-49, under five and a half minutes to play. Medard. Smith with it, 5.20 to go. Smith, traveling is called against Queensboro. Five ten to go. Hostos up by 22. Really lackluster second half, honestly. The women's game really ran the gum out of emotions. Men were down by 18 at halftime. Never really cut into that lead is Brian Morrison. Charles Jackson, it's that kind of night for Hostos. Been that kind of night for Queensboro. 73-49. Hostos Bronx should be real interesting. Friday night for the CUNY Championship. Jenkins just loses it. That's the exclamation point at 75-49. Lob City, Queensboro down by 26 with 418 to go. 418 remaining in the second half, full time out, Queensboro. Everybody clap your hands. Jeremiah Brown leading Hostos with 21 points, Charles Jackson has 18. Check it out, y'all. See if Queensboro struggles on defense at the end, if they get a little lazy to be honest you're not going to play 100 percent defense down by 26 with four minutes hostos might have a few more alley oops should be a real interesting matchup when you have hostos throwing their alley oops all over the place in bronx who could hit threes from anywhere Smith. 
Tyler Jenkins shot is sent away. Stoles. Stoles lays it in. Almost feel cheated when there's not a dunk at the end of one of these fast breaks. It's 77-49 with under four minutes to play. Georges hits a three. He's had a quiet 13 points. 77-52, 3.45 to go. Queensboro will have one more game against Sullivan on the 23rd. Charge is called against Jeremiah Brown. I believe that's number four on Brown. Jeremiah Brown, that's his fourth. One more and Brown is gone. Morrison goes to the bench for Hostos and gets a standing ovation from the bench. Disappointing for the Tigers. Trying to protect the home court. You win, you're in the CUNY championship game. Hostos just a better team. Show you what it comes down to. Appleton couldn't save it. It went through his hands with 3.07 to go. Gary Anderson returns to the Kings. Maverick Hodge goes out. Dr. Jody King may take his Caymans out one at a time. Tigers got real lazy there. Stoles. Washington, Alan Smith finishes at the other end. Smith now in double digits, has 10 points. Hostos lead 77-54. Jeremiah Brown with it to Stoles. Nice give and go and Brown is fouled with 2.31 left to play. Charge number 33, Tyler Jenkins, that's his third. Jeremiah Brown at the line. Brown was eight for eight in the first half, hasn't hit a field goal in the second half. That free throw is short. Rallick Smith goes in. And another standing ovation from the Cayman bench. This one for Brandon Stoles. Guys are going out one at a time. Brown matches his jersey number with 22 points. And Jeremiah Brown goes out after the made free throw. Was four for four from three point land in that first half. 78-54, Hostos, 2.20 left to play. Came in ball with 2.20 to go. Jackson, Appleton, Appleton puts it in. Wendell Appleton with his first points, 80-54. Nine different Caymans have scored. Counted on the foul, Georges will go to the line. 80-56 with 2.03 to go. Seven different Tigers have scored, and Charles Jackson is out for the Caymans. Georgia's hits, he now has 16 points. It's 80-57, under two minutes to play. The doubleheader Friday night for the championship, the women's game will be Kingsboro BMCC. The men's game will be all Bronx, the Broncos and the Caymans. It's 82-57, Hostos. 100 seconds to go. As Taquan Washington has his first points of the game. Taquan Washington. 
came in ball with 90 seconds to go, 82-59. Ladies and gentlemen, 545 remaining in the fourth quarter, the New York Knicks are leading Sacramento, 92 to 69. Some words are shared between Gary Anderson and Alan Smith. Taquan Washington talking to the ref. Anderson gets it. Put it on the floor. Washington. Alan Smith with it. 72 seconds and counting. They're not really going to try to make up the 23 points. They're going to finish with fundamental possessions. Under a minute to play. And Georges will go to the line with 57 and 9 sec 57 and 9 10 seconds remaining. George is looking for points 17 and 18. It's 82 60 now. Rafael Yusupov is in. Taekwon Washington and Alan Smith. Go to the bench. Bitter loss for the Tigers on their home court, even though they're the road team. 82-61. And Hostos played tremendously as Wendell Appleton puts it in. 84-61. Not the most dramatic night for the fans uh, or the scouts. First game was 91-61. This one is 84-61. Make it 84-63. Vincent George is now with 20 points. Hostos. Dr. Jody King says hold the ball, no shot. Tiger ball with 19 and 8, 10 seconds to go. See which one of these Tigers on the court will take the final shot. Brian Nation. All the fans want Brian Nation to shoot. Banks in a three. Brian Nation makes it 84-66. Nation, who plays in the final few seconds, gets his name in the scoring sheet. This is QCC student David Russell. There will be no CUNY championship for Queensboro. Hostos wins it 84-66. As Hostos takes on the defending champion, Bronx Community College.